Aloha freaks! It is time to do a reading of uh, Shit Creation Essay because it's a never ending fountain. It's a never ending fountain. It never ends. Actually, the fountain's even more full than it ever used to be when I was indoctrinated into the cult in the 80s. So let's have some fun with it. Might as well. They're going to kill us all if we don't take care of them. So um, somehow I'll deprogram, which is not going to happen. But let's read. Let's read what the people who love us very much have to say. <clears throat> I think this is about, this appears to be about the vaccine. Let's go. I feel like I'm starting to steer a bit off topic lately with my posts, but I just love all of the knowledge everyone in this group has surrounding the vast number of related issues when it comes to flat earth and being woke. So hopefully this is okay. If not, please delete. To make a long story short, he's not going to. My family have all received very have all my family all have very different views than me regarding vaccines in general, especially when it comes to the experimental COVID vax. My parents live in Ontario, Canada. Got healthcare? Must be nice. And my mother recently received the Pfizer. She's had both injections to date. My dad flew from Canada down to Florida with the sole intention of getting the Moderna. He's always been a competitive lad. And my elderly grandmother just got her first dose of the vax yesterday. She's in Ontario, and I'm assuming she also got the Pfizer. She's 93 with severe dementia. I would be lying if I said if I wasn't nervous about it all. Guess what? If his 93-year-old uh, uh, grandmother with severe dementia dies any time within the next seven years, you know, before she's 100, he's blaming it on the vax. Guaranteed. The following screenshot is my mother's reaction to a documentary I sent her over. Oh, we sent her a documentary. The following screenshot is my mother's reaction to a documentary I sent her over Instagram regarding an opposing view to her own about all of this. Shortly after this reply, she texted me to let me know of my dad's current update because he received his second Moderna shot today. I don't know how to take it. Let's see. So he sent her this wellness.ca, wellness delivered... Yeah, he sent her to some conspiracy website. And she responds, and let's see what he doesn't, the, the response from his mama, that he doesn't know how to take. I agree, science should not be politicized. As the world gets smaller with more people traveling, we will be exposed to more health risks. We have to decide how much the rights of the individual have merit versus the rights of the general public, like regarding vaccination passports. The world is ever-evolving, and we change along with it. See... Evangelical Christians kind of don't want to evolve. It's evolution. We don't even evolve our, our own culture. Um, the world is ever evolving and we change along with it. I don't think there is ever a perfect answer. Do anti-vaxxers really want to live in a world with no vaccines? Do they do they know what it would be like? No, they don't. They they These are shitheads who like pre-polio and never worked with post-polio patients like I did as a physical therapist. People still have fucking polio. You got polio? No. Why? Vaccines. Okay. Smallpox? No? No? Did we eradicate that? Yes, we did. Motherfucker. Vaccines. Okay. Need to smoke. His mom is very, very reasonable. Let's see what else she has to say. <coughs> <coughs> Are they willing to live apart from the rest? Of, what does it take for them to approve? Do they know what it would... Uh, duh, duh. Do any vaxxers really want to live in a world with no vaccines? Do they know what that would be like? What does it take for them to approve a vaccine? Are they willing to live apart from the rest of the world to reduce their exposure to pathogens? Are they wanting the rest of society to vaccinate so herd immunity is obtained and they are protected by that without sharing the risk themselves? As for rushing the COVID vaccine, what is the alternative? I've just heard of a friend's friend who has been left with lasting shortness of breath. A vaccine might have prevented that. I also heard of a friend's friend who got the shot and stayed well, despite caring for her husband and son who had COVID. So this is rambling. Just a lot to think about. It's a good question. It's good to question everything for sure. What a very understanding mom. She's trying to not say, jackass, come on now. Come on now, conspiracy theorist. I didn't raise you like that. So she's being very nice. Let's see his what his response is. <laughs> Let's see. Next. Okay, so. Okay, so somebody comes in. Somebody answers. His name is Thomas. And he says, she's wrong. <laughs> she's wrong. Let's find out why. <coughs> oh, 
Oh, that's why. God. She's, um, she's wrong. Just because the world is evolving doesn't mean that absolute truth changes. God doesn't change, and neither does his spirit. And the Bible is clear that those who walk in the spirit can drink poison and not die. So how much more powerful would we be against diseases? Okay, God doesn't change, so neither does his spirit. And the Bible is clear that those who walk in the spirit can drink poison and not die. So how much more powerful would we be against diseases? Anyone who trusts the world and its medicine is saying that we don't trust God can heal and prove miracles according to his will. Everyone dies and no one controls their death date. I bet he's fun at parties. And then Thomas continues. I need to smoke before I hear more Thomas bullshit. Because this guy is a fucking asshole. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Thomas, you just need to tell her the truth. <coughs> according to the Gospels and the Bible. <coughs> That's all you can do for her. Mallory comes in. The thing is, she rolled her eyes and made the face at me when I told her I was actively studying the Bible and had found God. She thinks it's a big joke. Thomas returns. Well, then, just tell her Jesus loves her. Bless her in God's name, and then you'll pray for her daily. That's exactly what atheists love to hear. Bless your heart. God loves you. We're going to pray for you. That's exactly what an atheist wants to hear. That'll win her over. <laughs> They are the most high horse people on the planet. <coughs> All right now. <coughs> American fucking evangelicals. But Nancy, how dare you say that? I could dare say that. I was raised as one. Leah. Totally skewed view of those who oppose poison, obviously. They have fear-mongered the crap out of the older generations. This is how they stay alive, when death is so apparent and looming after a certain time. They have reached a certain population in a certain way. The younger are pun pushed to love thy neighbor and don't be selfish. Better than thou, Agenda. It's so sad. But she is looking at the unpoisoned from the poisoned perspective. Oh my god. Lots to say to correct that. But she will likely not see it that way. Likely not. It's a good call. Leah. In response to her update, I would encourage her to keep an eye on him as those are as they are as those are still adverse reactions and can turn serious. Let them know your prayers are for his health and for their bodies and fighting off the poison introduced into their body. I'm blunt, but I still live my family. Ha ha. I'm blunt, but I still live my family. Ha ha. I think she meant love my family. Ha ha. Laura, it's sad because they've been lied to. Well, that was disgusting. It was, it goes down smoother with weed though. Fight the power. Fuck the police and Nazi punks. Fuck off.